When I walk across a steep dried crust of salt on what used to be one of the largest salt lakes on the earth, I feel like this body of water which is surrounded by rugged red mountains isn't only a lake for me. It is my childhood memories, a storehouse of pain, agony and joy and many things that contribute to my identity. In my home country, Iran, I grew up beside one of the biggest salt water lakes on the earth which gave a livelihood to many people, including my mother's family. My grandfather ran a lakefront guest house in the touristy port town. As a result, I spent all my childhood summers and weekends on the shore of the Salt Lake. The lake and grandparents' house was the hub of family. When the lake was still a favorite destination, people from all over the country would travel hundreds of kilometers to the bustling lakeside resorts and cities around the lake. One of the favorite scenes that looked entertaining to me as a child was seeing people cover their bodies with this legendary black mud. I can still smell the dark mud and remember the sound of the waves. I didn't realize when the lake started to dry out. However, as the most obvious sign that something was amiss, I remember the slow lengthening of boat pier that my uncle constructed. Bit by bit, the waters began to retreat. At first, my uncle extended the pier 100 meters out to facilitate guests access to his boat. Then, in following years, he built it out twice as far. Eventually, with the lake retreating kilometers away, he had to admit defeat. Like many other locals, we came to this sad recognition that it was going to disappear it was shrinking to nothing. In the late 1990s, Grandpa's guest house closed permanently. Like so many structures in the area, the once crowded family hub now lies in ruins. I started telling the story of my family, lake and people living around it in 2014, when Urmia was in its worst state and shrank to as little as 5% of its historic volume. The port town is now a sparsely populated village that young people flee to nearby cities. Neither port town nor Salt Lake resembles the place of my childhood memories.